Cinemas, CNN, New York. Well, that is a memorable trip for sure. Yes, <laughs> adorable is the word I would use. Uh, it also teases the kids some valuable lessons about it, it, when you fly somewhere, it's, it's a process. You don't fly somewhere. You have to go <laughs> through all that stuff. So mm -hmm. next time they fly, I think the parents are going to be happy that those kids went through that. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> Very cool. Let's take a look outside. A little bit of wetness on the ground from overnight showers or showers on the way today and fog. A lot to talk about. That's in my first weather forecast coming up. Plus, Representative Dan Newhouse remains firm on his opposition against a plan to bring grizzly bears back to the Cascades, but supporters are saying the situation is a lot more complicated than it appears. At a miraculous rescue out in Oregon after a 92-year-old man survives a night stranded in below freezing temperatures, Good Morning Northwest continues right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Wednesday. Good morning, Riley. Good morning, Jason. I was driving here early, early this morning uh -huh. and it was raining. It was? It wasn't just uh, wet on the car. It was just raining okay. this morning. Yeah, a little bit of wetness out there. Yeah. So be careful, slick roads, especially Ellensburg, which is still below that freezing mark. And we're seeing showers right now as we speak in the Yakima. Let's take a look outside. Hey, it's six o'clock on this lovely Wednesday morning. You can, you can see the sheen there of some shower activity uh, for our areas. And we are looking at more shower activity on the way, especially for the mid Columbia and the Blue Mountain region. Sorry, I'm a little nasally today, folks. Uh, you know, it is tis the season. So highs are in the upper 30s to lower 40s, except for Ellensburg, which is looking again at uh, slick roads this morning. They did, did have showers roll through today. So here's what we're looking at today. So maybe late uh, morning, early afternoon showers for Yakima, staying where they were yesterday in those upper 40s. For the Tri-Cities area, a little bit more shower activity from early afternoon to our early evening, highs cooler, mid 40s. And for Walla Walla, dealing with some thick fog again this morning, and we'll see shower activity maybe even into the uh, well into the evening hours. So some precipitation on the way, morning fog, cooler temperatures, and let me get you ready for that upcoming weekend. That's coming up in my first alert weather forecast in about 10 minutes. We're continuing to report on parent concerns about how complaints of bullying are being handled at the school and district level in the West Valley School District. At last night's school board meeting, the mom of a 13 year old boy who's been subjected to death threats and being told to kill himself by other students came forward again, saying her son is still being bullied and it's not being handled by the district. But this time a member of the school board responded. We'll hear what they had to say coming up tonight at six. Sunnyside School District is now accepting applications for students in kindergarten through 11th grade that perform significantly above the grade standard. Highly capable students are those who show significantly advanced academic skill levels when compared to other students their age, experiences, and environments. Those who are interested in getting their child tested can contact their school to pick up a referral packet or visit the Sunnyside School District's website. The applications are due December 13th. Screenings and testing will take place from January 16th, 2024 through February 1st. If the student places into the program, it will take effect for the 2024-2025 school year. We spoke with Representative Dan Newhouse last month regarding a meeting in Okanagan County meant to discuss the proposition to bring grizzly bears back to the Northern Cascades. Newhouse reaffirmed his opposition and says most people in Washington state oppose it too. But since then, Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell has been contacted by several supporters of the plan who say it's a lot more complicated than that. At the end of last month, Representative Dan Newhouse told me that out of the approximately 200 people who met in Okanagan County on October 30th to discuss the plan to get grizzly bears back in the North Cascades, most were against it. Obviously not every single person had time to speak. Our rough tally of the speakers that did express their opinion, there was almost 50 people opposed and maybe only about six people spoke in favor. But supporters who were there, including Jasmine Mimbashian, reached out to me saying that's because they weren't comfortable speaking up. I think people's fears were stoked. 
specifically by our elected representatives. What I saw at that meeting was just people shouting each other down and booing and a lot of disrespect. Mimbashian is the director of the Methow Valley Citizens Council, which has about a thousand members across Okanagan County, which is in Newhouse's district, and many of them support the plan. The way he frames it is that everyone in his district opposes grizzly bear recovery, and that's just simply not true. Just at the Winthrop meeting alone, at least half the people there voiced their support. Some of the supporters have taken issue with statements made by Representative Newhouse, saying they're misleading. Newhouse has said grizzly bears are over 20 times as dangerous as black bears, citing a website dedicated to black bears in Minnesota. But comparing statistics from Yellowstone National Park about the risk of bear attacks for campers in backcountry, with a population of a thousand grizzly bears, the risk of a grizzly bear attack is about one in 1.7 million overnight stays. In comparison, the population lower for black bears at five to 600, and the risk of a black bear attack is one in 850,000 overnight stays. Newhouse also told me last month, Fish and Wildlife and Parks plan is eventually to allow grizzly bears to cover more than just this area, but other areas throughout the state. These bears have the ability to migrate within a 500 mile radius. And so by placing them up in the north central part of the state, they could easily end up in Kittitas or even Yakima County. But the proposal calls for a small amount of bears released in remote areas and a management plan to make sure they stay where they're supposed to. For example, if a bear went down into an orchard, the federal agencies would have more tools at their disposal to deal with that bear, including moving the bear out of the area or um, hazing it. Whatever happens with the plan in the end, supporters are hoping the discussion can be more respectful moving forward. It's easy to be heard when you're loud and intimidating, um, but there are a lot of people who are watching carefully and are quietly supporting in the background. And unfortunately, those folks are not as visible, but they're just as important. The public comment period closed Monday, and the National Park Service and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are taking those comments into consideration. In Washington, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Emily Goodell has reached out to Representative Newhouse's office for comment several times, but hasn't been able to speak with him. The Oregon Zoo in Portland says two of its endangered species populations are pregnant. An eastern black rhinoceros named Josie is expecting to deliver her baby between now and early January. Black rhinos are considered critically endangered. And Asian elephant Rose 2 is also expecting her third calf with a potential birth in 2025. Asian elephants are also considered highly endangered in their range countries. According to WashDOT, both Cayuse Pass on State Route 123 and Chinook Pass on State Route 410 took uh, th through Mount Rainier National Park are closed for the season. This announcement comes after snow fell in the Cascades over the weekend. In fact, WashDOT says Chinook received more than two feet of snow during that time. The passes typically reopen around Memorial Day weekend. The Benton Franklin Health District is reminding everyone of temporary warming centers that are available as the temperatures continue to drop. You can call 211 for information about locations that allow someone to come in from the cold and warm up. 211 and 211.org also have in important information about local resources such as util utility assistance, food, housing, and other needs. Oregon law enforcement officials say a 92-year-old man is recovering in the hospital after falling down an embankment and spending the night in below freezing temperatures. State police said in a news release, uh, troopers were notified Tuesday afternoon that Larry Hendrickson had not returned from a trip as expected. Troopers began a search and found his vehicle abandoned. A short distance away, troopers and a Baker City police officer found Hendrickson, who had fallen down a, an embankment. He was, he was conscious and breathing when they found him. First responders gave Hendrickson first aid until an ambulance could transport him to the hospital. In Whitman County Court yesterday, a judge ruled that Washington State and Oregon State Universities will control voting powers on the Pac-12 Board of Directors. Now, the 10 schools that, have left the con that left the conference no longer have any input on the fate of the conference. Hundreds of millions of dollars and the futures of college athletes were on the line in yesterday's hearing. WSU and OSU argue that they intend to preserve the conference. 
Attorney Eric McMichael says that OSU and WSU are the only parties that can do this because the 10 departing parties have split interests between the Pac-12 and their new conference. The fact that they're taking away our governance rights unfairly, unjustly, and in violation of the bylaws, there's no question that that constitutes irreparable harm, both as a matter of law and as a matter of fact. After the judge's ruling, he added that the conference will continue to operate business as usual and any future meetings will require three days' notice to the departing members. The judge also clarified that the decisions on revenue distribution will be solely up to the board, which as of the ruling only includes WSU and OSU. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. A little bit of wetness coming from the sky or already on the ground for your morning commute. Uh, slick in Ellensburg. We also have fog to talk about. I'll get you ready for your Wednesday. My first alert weather forecast coming up. Plus, a charter bus filled with high school students was rear-ended by a semi-truck on an Ohio highway yesterday morning, leaving six people dead and 18 injured. If you missed out on getting a McRib in the past, here's your chance to get one before you miss out again. The McRib returns. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. Now get 2.9% APR financing for 60 months on Rogue, or get a low $3.99 per month lease on Frontier. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. Is Medicare planning the last thing on your list? If you're approaching retirement age, contact the professionals at Stan Fortier Insurance Services and get answers to all your Medicare insurance questions. Let Stan Fortier guide you through the Medicare maze. Stan Fortier Insurance Services, bringing clarity to the complex. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. In the heart of Tri-Cities wine country, you'll find the Goose Ridge Richland Tasting Room. Located in the center of our vineyards is an opportunity to enjoy life through wines, hard ciders, Monson Ranch spirits, light bites, and live music at Goose Ridge. More than you'd expect, more than just a winery. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back on this Wednesday morning. Now to Ohio and new information about a deadly crash involving students on a high school band trip. ABC's Lionel Moise has the story. This morning, officials investigating what caused this fiery multi-vehicle crash east of Columbus, Ohio, that left six people dead, including three teenagers. We have heavy fire on the traffic camera, and we are being advised that there is children trapped on the bus. One of them, a semi-truck, slamming into this charter bus carrying the Tusky Valley Marching Band on their way to a performance. <laughs> Students leaping out of the windows, and then an explosion. 17-year-old Samantha Bossler, a saxophone player, was on the bus. There was immediate flames from the truck in the back. There's different stuff flying up on us. And then we realized that what happened and looked around, and there was a lot of kids stuck in seats. There was kids under seats. 
Of the three teens killed, the youngest was 15. More than a dozen others were taken to hospitals. Samantha says she's okay. I just happened to choose the right seat. The charred remains of that bus towed away from the scene, but police confirm at least three other people were killed in a car that was involved in the crash. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. The company that owns the charter bus says it's cooperating with investigators. Just a tragic story. Well, coming up, the Israeli military raided Gaza's largest hospital overnight, conducting what it called a targeted operation against Hamas as troops seize control, broader control, of northern Gaza. And I'll return with your first alert weather forecast. Hey, there's first light. I'll get you ready for your Wednesday coming up next. Allen Brackey Law Offices emphasizes the rights of accident victims and can answer your questions, such as how long do you have to file a claim? Who's legally liable to pay your medical expenses? Are you getting a good settlement from the insurance company? Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, all new tonight. Here we go. With big stars and big laughs. For the celebrity twist. The world's future relies on me winning today. There's a lot of pressure here. Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, all new tonight on ABC. Hi, I'm Gino Aditalston. Hi, I'm Andrew Aditalston. Excited to join my father's business, a true family business. And we got great news for you. We just got a fantastic deal on quartz and granite slabs that we want to pass on to you. You will be shocked at the savings. Come and see us for a free estimate. You'll be glad you did. We are with you every step of the way. I'm Buzz the Bee from the Painting Bees. I'm a local bee. I started painting houses, and here I am. So what do we do? We're a local painting company. We paint exterior, we do interior painting, and cabinetry as well. And we're here to take care of everybody, even the DIYers. And so why shouldn't you do this by yourself? Because of our combined 15 years of experience painting homes in the Tri-Cities area. So if you're interested in a free estimate, visit our website or call us at 509-591-8160. in an accident and are thinking about settling the insurance claim yourself, do you really know about the laws that help accident victims? Would you like to know if you're being treated fairly? Do yourself a favor. Call Allen Brecky Law Offices for a free consultation. Faith Martin, our local bachelorette on The Golden Bachelor. Thursday on Apple Valley News Now, Faith tells all to her friend Stacy Lee. Find out what happened behind the scenes and more. Faith with Stacy Thursday at 5 and 6, Apple Valley News Now. Join me Thursday at Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar for our Golden Bachelor Watch Party. Only two more episodes of The Golden Bachelor. Get awesome food and drinks and enter to win great prizes from Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar. Active for life and Apple Valley News Now. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest. Sponsored by Wendemere Group One. From Apple Valley News Now. First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your morning so far. We have first light as we're moving along in our morning. Some wet roads out there. You can see the sheen, uh, there we go, of uh, the precipitation that came overnight. Pretty light rain, but still, it is uh, causing a little bit of slick conditions. Yakima, your shower activity is about over. Form, luckily, of rain in the city limits, but outside, maybe a little bit of rain, snow mix. And we had showers going through Ellensburg earlier below freezing there, so keep an eye out for some slick conditions. So our future cast, those showers are going to come to an end. And as we get into our uh, late morning, early afternoon, there it is, quite a bit of widespread showers. It's going to start to move up into the northeast. Tri-City still right there, and then it's going to fan right into the Blue Mountain region as we get to our evening hours. So Thursday and Friday looking much nicer, more sunshine on the way, but that could also mean more fog on the way, especially in Walla Walla. So temperatures right now, as I said, below freezing for Ellensburg, so be careful. Keep it out for some slick spots. Other than that, we're above the freezing level, a little warmer than we were yesterday at this time. 
due to a little bit more cloud coverage out there. So temperature trend, we're going to remain right below our average five or so degrees as we head into our weekend. We'll see a little bit of a spike on Sunday. We're going to see heavy, heavier winds coming in, warming things up. And then as we head into our Monday and Tuesday of Thanksgiving week, back to those 40s. So let's take a look at winds, very light winds, and uh, we expect winds to be remaining light for the next couple of days. That also means the possibility of fog and yes, bad air quality. So right now we have zero visibility under, um, uh, looks like under a half a mile visibility for Walla Walla, one mile of visibility, 10% for Hermiston and some hampered areas as well. So especially in Walla Walla, keep an eye out for that thick fog. Also air quality with these light winds, moderate air quality, Tri-Cities, Prosser, Yakima. This could get worse before it gets better. Should get better by Sunday. All right, our highs today, we're right in those upper 40s for the Yakima Valley, Ellensburg region. As we move into the mid-Columbia, a little cooler, mid to upper 40s, warmer though for northeastern Oregon, 51, and that warmer conditions will continue for Pendleton, 54, Walla Walla at 51, but it could be cooler if that fog sticks around. Overnight lows for Yakima, we're going to be in the uh, below the freezing mark for the week ahead and highs mostly mid to upper 40s. Slight chance of some shower activity into our weekend or next work week, but best chance is this morning in the Tri-Cities area, mid 40s for the week ahead besides Sunday. Overnight lows a little above, a little below that freezing mark in Walla Walla. Get ready for more fog. Again, a, a half a mile of visibility currently. So give yourself a little extra time in the uh, Walla Walla region. You're going to want to for your Thursday commute, Friday commute. And I wouldn't be surprised if Saturday morning we had more fog as well. And the most showers will be coming possibly late afternoon to early evening hours for Walla Walla. So for your Wednesday, a lot going on. Foggy this morning, some shower activity finally coming to an end at least briefly. We'll see it return for the mid-Columbia and the blues as we get to our afternoon hours and staying a bit chilly for this time of year. East Israel announcing a new assault against Hamas terrorists believed to be hiding inside a network of tunnels beneath the largest hospital in Gaza. In the meantime, reports are coming in about a potential deal in the works to free more of the hostages being held by Hamas, including Americans. ABC's Justin Finch has the latest. Overnight, the Israeli military launched what it calls a targeted operation at Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza. The Hamas run health ministry claims dozens of soldiers were inside the emergency department as Israeli forces searched the hospital's basement. U.S. officials say there's evidence that Hamas has been using tunnels beneath hospitals to hide weapons and hostages. In Gaza City, they have weapons stored there and are prepared to respond to an Israeli military operation against the facility. A senior U.S. official calls the tunnels multi-layered and extensive, containing hundreds of Hamas fighters who've set booby traps. Meanwhile, a senior Israeli source says progress has been made towards a deal that could free some of the 239 hostages being held by Hamas. The source saying a breakthrough could come within 72 hours. Yesterday, an estimated 290,000 people gathered in Washington in a march for Israel. Among them, the family of three-year-old Abigail Moore Aydan, the youngest of the Americans taken captive by Hamas. Her parents were killed. Abigail is a funky little girl. I want Abigail to know that her brother, her sister, her aunts and uncles and her grandparents are waiting for her at home. We are waiting for her. We love her very, very, very much and we are doing everything we can to bring her home. The White House says President Biden spoke with Israel's Prime Minister again yesterday about the ongoing efforts to release more hostages. What's your message for the families? Hang in there, we're coming. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Sources say Israel's war cabinet met last night to discuss a possible hostage deal with Hamas, but still no word on a decision. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, it's the newest installment of Operation Best Friend as we introduce you to Calder, a husky pit bull mix hoping to find his family. Stick around, that's coming up next. 
KFC's Wednesday Country Fried Steak Meal is a delicious value, complete with mashed potatoes with gravy, coleslaw, and a biscuit, all for the incredible price of just $5.99. Really, what's left to say? How about see you again next Wednesday? Country Fried Steak Meal, just $5.99, only at KFC. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. Now get 2.9% APR financing for 60 months on Rogue, or get a low $3.99 per month lease on Frontier. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. Hey, y'all, this ain't no turkey shootout going on at Legends Casino Hotel in November. It's a roping and a riding cash and car roundup where you could wrangle $10,000 in cash or win a new Volkswagen. Just steer your Legends Rewards card smack dab into your favorite slot machine to earn entries. And then giddy up on over to Legends Casino on Thursdays for your chance to snag ten grand in cash or a VW Jetta on November 23rd or the Atlas Crossboard on November 30th. Round up the posse and we'll see you at Legends Casino Hotel in Toppenish. Stan, where's Alice? She's supposed to stay with us. Oh, shoot. Where could she? Hey, everybody. I'm Alice. I'm new here. The new zipline ride looks so fun. You go back and forth. Awesome. And we've lost control of the Alice situation. Triple Play has fun for everyone, including the brand new zipline ride. And it's all attached to a cozy hotel. I mean, she's a natural spokesaur who isn't tempted to eat anyone. Uh... You know, because she's an herbivore. and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back. It's now time for Operation Best Friend, where we get the pleasure of introducing you to a pet that's up for adoption at a local shelter. Sarah Beth joins us from with Mikey's Chance, and she is introducing us to Calder. So how long has he been with Mikey's Chance? Calder has been with us for about... Uh, 18 months he came to us because um, <laughs> he was abandoned because he had parvovirus oh. which is usually quite deadly so his owners did not want to um, care for him anymore they just abandoned him gotcha and he's now healed since then yep yep he fought the fight and is <laughs> <laughs> strong and healthy boy definitely definitely and what type of home would he maybe fit best with Calder would be fantastic in a home with other dogs and a loving family. Um, he really is great with pretty much any animal and kids as well. Gotcha. And if someone might be interested in adopting him, how can they get involved? They can find us <laughs> on the Mikey's Chance Facebook page. We also have Mikey's Chance website um, where all of our dogs are viewable and can uh, contact us through there. Gotcha. And he, he loves belly rubs. Can yes. you tell me any other quirky <laughs> stories or fun stories about him? Uh, he can open doors with a lateral handle. So he's able to flip the handle and open the door. So he's um, come inside and let our cats outside before. Definitely. He's pretty funny. <laughs> that is a funny, funny dog. <laughs> and we should mention that whoever ends up adopting the pet that we feature here on Operation Best Friend will receive a $50 gift card to Pause Natural Pet Emporium. So if you're looking for a new best friend, Calder right here may fit perfectly in with your family. It's located with Mikey's Chance. Sarah, and Sarah Beth and Calder, thank you so much for stopping by this morning. Very appreciate your visit. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you. Coming up, tempers flare on Capitol Hill as several skirmishes broke out across both chambers ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Need to satisfy your craving for cheesy, smoky, gooey grill perfection? Oh yeah!
Taco Time's Cheesy Chipotle Chicken Quesadilla. When you know what you want, anytime is Taco Time. Thank you for getting groceries, Mika. Of course. Happy to help. Will Medicare cover any of these bills? I thought it would, but it doesn't. We'll get through this. I will always be here for you. I know. But what about you? I don't ever want you to be in this situation. Don't worry, Dad. With WA Cares, I'm earning long-term care benefits with each paycheck. That money will be there when I need it. Find out how the WA Cares Fund can help. season do more together in a new chevy get 1.9 percent financing on all 2023 silverado 1500 pickups or get 5250 total value on this silverado with a turbo max engine see your community chevy dealers With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Okay, so I'm not sure I could even talk about this, but US Cellular has a new deal where you can get literally any Samsung Galaxy for free. You're so right, that's a totally awesome deal. And it's just in time for gift giving season too. My business sense says that's a great deal. I'm gifting mine to my son. Wow. Excuse me, it's work. Talk to me. What a boss. <laughs> New and current customers can get any Samsung Galaxy free. Get the gift of connection at US Cellular. Top Tree Service is committed to providing the best service and experience possible. From the first call to schedule your estimate, through our final after-service follow-up call, ensuring complete satisfaction. Your trees are valuable assets, and we ensure our ISA-certified arborists will protect your investment. The health and safety of your trees are our top priority. Call today to schedule a free estimate and experience the top tree service difference for yourself. Need to satisfy your craving for cheesy, smoky, gooey grill perfection? Oh yeah! Taco Time's Cheesy Chipotle Chicken Quesadilla. When you know what you want, anytime is Taco Time. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Childish behavior from members of Congress, including accusations of a former House Speaker elbowing a member and a senator challenging a witness to a physical fight during a hearing. And Senate Democrats have introduced a new rule that would allow them to get around Senator Tommy Tuberville's hold on military promotions. And we have some fog today and showers to talk about for you Wednesday. I'll get you ready in my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Wednesday and got a little fog. We got a little showers and we got cold temperatures. And we had a big dog in here earlier. We had a big dog with a little sweetheart. <laughs> what was the dog's name again? Um, Calder. 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 All right, let's find Calder a home. <laughs> Perfect day for, you know, fall. Mm -hmm. Get a cuddle with your uh, fur babies. Yes, and as I said to you earlier, my cat has been especially cuddly lately and I think with, with all of us in the house. And I think that's because... We said it's getting a little colder. Sure. He's looking for a little, a little, a little more warmth. warmth. <laughs> a little body warmth. All right, quick look outside. And uh, folks, your body warmth may go down if you're heading outside. Bundle up and you can see some fog in the distance. We have about 50% visibility, so five miles in the Tri-Cities. We're under half a mile for Walla Walla as we speak. So foggy conditions through many of our areas. We also had some shower activity come through. Most likely your car will have a little bit of wetness. Uh, it just came out of the Yakima area. Luckily, we're above the freezing level. Keep an eye out though in Ellensburg. You could see some very slick conditions this morning due to being below the freezing mark. So our highs today, about where we were yesterday for Yakima. Again, uh, just a, a hint of shower activity late uh, after, excuse me, late morning to early afternoon. Better chance for a little bit sustained showers 
early afternoon and then especially as we get to our early evening hours and those showers might persist into the later evening hours for Walla Walla dealing with that fog this morning. So impacting you morning fog, some rain today and cooler temperatures. I'll get you ready for all of that. My first alert weather forecast is coming up in about 10 minutes. Now to the threats and insults in the U.S. Congress. A fistfight nearly broke out yesterday and at the same time, the former House Speaker was accused of assaulting another lawmaker. Here's ABC's Andrea Fuji. This morning, the senator who challenged a union boss to a fight during this hearing on Capitol Hill is revealing what led up to their explosive exchange. He's just not used to being called out. I think the guy's really tough on a keyboard, but that's about it. Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen was questioning Teamsters President Sean O'Brien when the two nearly came to blows. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, stop it. Senator Bernie Sanders intervening. This is a hearing, and God knows the American people have enough of contempt for Congress. Let's not. I don't make like. It. Then let's do this because I did challenge you, and I accepted your challenge, and you went quiet. No, I didn't go quiet. I was, no, I was, the, you no, no, challenged no. me to a cage match, no, no, acting no, like a 12 year old schoolyard no, bully. Excuse me. Senator Mullen, who owns a plumbing company, said his feud with O'Brien began months ago when the senator accused the Teamsters of trying to intimidate his employees into unionizing. O'Brien on social media back in June called Mullen a greedy CEO, clown, and fraud, adding, You know where to find me, any place, any time, cowboy. Being raised in Oklahoma all life, you don't do that. You don't go run off the mouth unless you expect to be called to the carpet. And uh, and I did that. Meanwhile, on the same day, yet another episode of schoolyard behavior in the halls of the Capitol. Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett says former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy elbowed him in the kidneys as they were gathering to vote on a new funding bill. The exchange heard in this audio from NPR. What kind of chicken move is that? <laughs> you're you're pathetic, man. You are so pathetic. You know, it was deliberate. It was just a it was just a cheap shot by a bully. But McCarthy denies hitting Burchett. Did you elbow him? Okay, no, I did not elbow him. No, I would not elbow him. I would not hit him in a kidney. Burchett was among the Republicans led by Matt Gates, who voted to remove McCarthy as speaker last month. Well, that drama overshadowed House Speaker Mike Johnson's big victory yesterday. His short-term spending plan to prevent a government shutdown was approved with help of Democrats. The Senate Rules Committee advanced a temporary rules change that would let the Congress uh, would let the Senate confirm hundreds of top military nominees. It bypasses Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville's hold. Tuberville was has single-handedly held up the confirmations of more than 350 top Pentagon nominees since February. He's delayed them over his objection to the Pentagon's policy of reimbursing service members for travel to get abortions. He says Congress never voted on or appropriated money for the abortion policy. Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar is the Rules Committee Chair. But we find ways to get this done, and this is not one of them. Um, so that is why we have found this, what I would consider, elegant solution. The final vote was 9 to 7. Um, so we, uh, for those of us that want to keep this moving and to stop our chain of command from being held hostage. Uh, this is a victory because it is the first step to getting this done. But the battle to get the military promotions confirmed is far from over. The resolution to change the rules will need to get 60 votes on the Senate floor. That means Republican support is necessary. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. This morning you can see it in the distance there for the Tri-Cities, much more in the Walla Walla area. Also a little bit of shower activity, some cooler temperatures, a lot to talk about. For your Wednesday, let me get you ready with my first alert weather forecast. Plus, a different kind of Olympics was held in Vegas on Monday, involving the people who will help keep Sin City running smoothly. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. For 600 different cigars and 120 fine pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. 
Are you looking for a bank that has traditional values and modern solutions? Are you looking for a bank that is member owned? Are you looking for a bank that leaves a lasting impact on the community? I've got news for you. You're not looking for a bank. Belong to something better. Join Hapo Community Credit Union where you are more than just a member. Visit hapo.org to join today. Where do you credit union? At Mattress Depot USA, we're all about being friendly. Customer friendly. Our sleep consultants would tailor the perfect sleep solution just for you. Local friendly. We grew up here. Brand friendly. The top brands like Sealy, Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic. Price friendly. We always give you the best value. We might just be the friendliest place on earth. Ha! Huh? Excuse me! Don't worry, you're still the happiest. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Did you know? Ustria Health has three full-time board-certified orthopedic surgeons. Pain in your hands, knees, hips, or shoulders can reduce your quality of life. Orthopedic doctors repair bone, joint, ligament, and tendon injuries, which can relieve debilitating pain. Our surgeons treat tendonitis and carpal tunnel, repair broken bones and fractures, and replace painful, worn-out joints, putting you back in motion. Austria Health, exceptional rural health care close to home. Every 15 minutes, someone is involved in a semi-truck collision in the U.S. Whatever the cause, big trucks mean big crashes, resulting in serious, even fatal injuries, large medical bills, and loss of wages. If you've been injured in a crash with a big rig, call Abeta Nelson Injury Law today. We've handled the most big truck accidents in Central Washington over the last 40 years, recovering millions for our clients. Abeta Nelson, we take your injury personally. Saturday on Apple Valley News Now. A primetime showdown as the Washington Huskies take on Oregon State live from Corvallis. The Huskies, the Beavers, Saturday Night Football starts at 4.30 on Apple Valley News Now. Next live with Kelly and Mark, Jeff Probst from Survivor. Between Gelman and Art, we could survive an apocalypse. Plus Matt Palmer from Fellow Travelers. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. An unusual sporting event was back in action in Las Vegas Monday as participants tried to sweep their competition under the rug. All right, <laughs> dozens of people took part in what has been dubbed the Housekeeping Olympics, the event featuring international teams competing in categories like vacuum races and bed making. This is the 33rd year of the event and the Ooh. first one in four years. The pandemic postponed the competition until now. When the event ended, the team from Bellagio from the Bellagio stood tall among the rest and <laughs> hoisted the championship trophy. All right. A fitting place to host this event. Yes, yes. I think they had the one shot of people in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> so Las Vegas has more than 300 hotels, resorts. Yes. More than 150,000 rooms, according to Visit Las Vegas. Uh, on the corner, there's a, <laughs> a, a street uh, intersection where they have more hotel rooms there than all of San Francisco. Oh my goodness. That's yeah, where the MGM Grand is. Uh, so <laughs> what would your, what would your best uh, housekeeping uh, uh, duty be? Oh, I'm a big fan of the laundry. Cause <laughs> okay. you can, you know, it's like every, every hour you have the next step. And so sure. you have time in between. You to put plan it in the out washer. The strategy. Exactly, put it in the washer, wait an hour. Move it, wait an hour, take it out <laughs> an hour later, and All right, then you so fold it. All right, so fits and starts. Exactly. You're good at folding? <laughs> I would say so. Okay, excellent. <laughs> All right, quick look outside. Let me get you ready for your Wednesday. And my first alert weather forecast, that is next. And the Tri-Cities Airport is looking for your input on a long-term plan to bring hundreds of airspace jobs to the area. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. 
Now get 2.9% APR financing for 60 months on Rogue or get a low $3.99 per month lease on Frontier. Better hurry. These offers won't be back in stock. Everybody in the Tri-Cities has been to a Hubby's Pizza Party, right? You haven't? Acquire the Hubby's Habit and book your party today. Delicious, mouth-watering food made with only the freshest ingredients. It's party time at Hubby's Pizza, a hometown favorite for nearly 45 years. Book your party today. With the winter months approaching, it's that time of year to do what we can to provide the best holiday season to the little ones in our valley. From now to the end of the year, Pingree Ford will be collecting new and gently used coats for Coats for Kids, as well as new unwrapped toys for Toys for Tots. We're committed to the children in our community and we hope you can join us in our mission. Come see us today and feel the power of Pingree. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with a product so good you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. When it comes to your loved ones, you want the best care possible. Being home surrounded by the things you love is vital for quality of life. That's where affordable at-home care comes in. We offer personalized home care plans to fit your specific needs. And for all new customers, your first hour is always free. Our experienced, loving and caring staff is dedicated to serving you. Call us today for a free consultation. At Affordable in Home Care, we do more than just visit. KFC's Wednesday Country Fried Steak Meal is a delicious value, complete with mashed potatoes with gravy, coleslaw, and a biscuit, all for the incredible price of just $5.99. Really, what's left to say? How about see you again next Wednesday? Country Fried Steak Meal, just $5.99, only at KFC. Stacy Lee, she's on your side. Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Jason Valentine. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Hope you're enjoying it so far. We do have a little bit of fog in the distance for the uh, Tri-Cities area, about five miles of visibility. So in essence, 50% visibility. But right now, <coughs> excuse me, in Walla Walla, we're at a half mile of visibility. I'll get to that in a bit. So on our radar, we did have some shower activity rumble through Yakima. We could see just a hint of rainstorm mix run through Clee Elm and maybe just a little bit south to Ellensburg. We've been keeping a close eye on Ellensburg. They are below the freezing mark this morning just so right now but with shower activity coming overnight could be very slick this morning for commuters so be very careful out there on the road so take a look at our future cast we're going to be pretty calm until we get to our afternoon pretty widespread shower activity but very quickly in the Yakima Toppenish then it's going to move to the northeast and Tri-Cities just on the periphery. So it'll move out of Toppenish at around 4 o'clock, so early evening. Then it's going to continue to go south into Walla Walla and Pendleton in our late night to overnight period. Tomorrow, Friday, looking very clear. So much nicer conditions are on the way. So our current temperatures, Ellensburg, you're at 31, just below that freezing mark. Other than that, we are a little bit warmer for our areas and that is due to the cloud coverage and we're going to see cooler temperatures more near the freezing mark as we move along in our work week and luckily we're going to be staying dry so our highs today we're mostly in the mid to upper 40s some lower 50s in there and we're going to remain just below our average through saturday then a little bit of a bump on sunday before we return to just below average but still not too bad for the middle part of december uh, uh november i'm going ahead a month already Wind speeds very light this morning and wind speeds are going to be light for the next couple of days at least. That means fog and air quality issues are very likely. So let's get to that fog. And again, we're at half a mile visibility in Walla Walla, two miles of visibility in Hermiston. So in those two areas, be very careful. Keep an eye out for patchy fog throughout our areas. Air quality. 
Tri-Cities, Prosser, Toppenish, you're in the moderate zone. And with the lack of wind next couple of days, do expect air quality to take some hits. Highs today, we're in the mid to upper 50, uh, 40s Excuse me for Yakima, Toppenish, Ellensburg. A little warmer for Hermiston, 51. Mid 40s for most of the mid-Columbia. Mid to lower 50s for the Blue Mountain region. Seven-day forecast in mid 40s for most of uh, the week ahead, mid to upper 40s. A little bit of an outlier there on Sunday. Overnight lows are going to remain below the freezing mark. And we do have more sunshine for tomorrow, in the, uh, Friday. But then more cloud coverage and a slight chance of showers into our weekend. For the Tri-Cities area, mid to lower to upper 40s besides Sunday. Overnight lows right around the freezing mark and more cloud coverage on the way. A little more than the rest of our areas. For Walla Walla, good chance of more of that fog tomorrow morning and Friday morning. And you see those cooler temperatures. That's due to, well, when the fog is there, it uh, keeps the sunshine out. It doesn't warm it up. We should see it break up, if not on Saturday, on Sunday. So for today, morning fog is a problem right now in Walla Walla and in Hermiston. We expect more shower activity for mostly the mid-Columbia and the Blues late afternoon to early to late evening. And cooler temperatures pretty much across the board today. The state of Washington is first in the U.S. for aerospace careers. But most of those jobs are over on the west side. Now the Tri-Cities Airport and Port of Pasco are hoping to bring some of those jobs to eastern Washington as plans for a major aviation and aeronautical industrial center at the airport are being put into motion. But they're looking for input from the community before the project begins. There's a plan for all this land at the airport. Approximately 460 acres set to become the future home of the Aerospace Innovation and Manufacturing, or AIM, center. We're looking at developing that land for such, you know, things as vertical takeoff and landing, electric aircraft, um, autonomous aircraft, AI. <clears throat> that next generation of, of aerospace um, is what we're trying to position ourselves for. The AIM Center is a long-term project. If all goes according to plan, the first phase of construction would begin in about six years. Six years to start, 20 years to complete, with a price tag of about $215 million. Before any work begins, the airport and Port of Pasco are inviting community members to weigh in on the project at a public open house at McGee Elementary. And we want to hear from the community, good or bad. Um, we want to make an official public record so as this project moves forward, we have the information of the community buy in or, or they don't buy in, but we want to hear from them so we really understand what the community feels, thinks, um, likes or dislikes about this project. The hope is the AIM Center will create new jobs and diversify the local economy. This will really position more the Tri-Cities to continue to have family wage jobs into the future. And that's also important to the Port of Pasco and the Tri-Cities Airport. The public open house is scheduled for Wednesday evening from 5 to 8 p.m. But people will be able to weigh in through a community survey until Friday, November 24th. That was Jill Sperling reporting. You can also find the entire AIM Center Master Plan and the public survey online at tricitiesaim.com. We have a link on our website as well, applevalleynewsnow.com. We'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast, but first a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, lead in public school water. Why can't you use the water fountain? Uh, because there's lead contamination in our water. High school junior Francis Galicia is one of 10,000 students who attend 13 public schools in the East Ramapo School District in New York, a district that shut off a number of water fountains in 2016 because of high lead levels from the school district's water fixtures. The school district says it does provide water coolers for students, and the New York State Department of Education told ABC News that there are plans to fix the majority of the water fixtures in East Ramapo schools over the next year. Unfortunately, schools regulation is mostly voluntary. And coming up at 7 a.m., our ABC News investigative team joins forces with eight stations across the country to examine this nationwide issue. With your GMA First Look, I'm Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. Numbers move you, but some can stop you in your tracks, like the tens of thousands of people who were diagnosed with certain HPV-related cancers. For most people, HPV clears on its own. 
But for those who don't clear the virus, it can cause certain cancers. Gardasil 9 is a vaccine given to adults through age 45 that can help protect against certain diseases caused by HPV, including cervical, vaginal, vulvar, anal, and certain head and neck cancers, such as throat and back of mouth cancers and genital warts. Gardasil 9 doesn't protect everyone and does not treat cancer or HPV infection. Your doctor may recommend screening for certain HPV-related cancers. Women still need routine cervical cancer screenings. You shouldn't get Gardasil 9 if you've had an allergic reaction to the vaccine, its ingredients, or are allergic to yeast. Tell your doctor if you have a weakened immune system, are pregnant, or plan to be. The most common side effects include injection site reactions, headache, fever, nausea, dizziness, tiredness, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and sore throat. Fainting can also happen. Help protect what counts. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about Gardasil 9. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.53. We're going to get to your first alert forecast in just a moment, but we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. We're continuing to report on parent concerns about how complaints of bullying are being handled at the school and district level at the West Valley School District. At last night's school board meeting, the mom of a 13-year-old boy who's been subjected to death threats and being told to kill himself by other students came forward again, saying her son is still being bullied and it's not being handled by the district. But this time, a, a member of the school board responded. We'll hear what they had to say coming up tonight at 6. Sunnyside School District is now accepting applications for students in kindergarten through 11th grade that perform significantly above the grade standard. Highly capable students are those who show significantly advanced academic skills, uh, skill levels when compared to other students of their age, experiences, and environments. The applications are due December 13th. Screenings and testing will take place from January 16th, 2024 through February 1st. Congressman Dan Newhouse has reiterated his opposition to a proposed plan to bring grizzly bears back to the North Cascades and said most people in Washington state are opposed to it too. Public comment is now closed, but several supporters of the plan say it's more complicated than agreeing or disagreeing with the move. And after the crowd booed and yelled at those in favor of the plan, they said they didn't feel comfortable speaking up. According to WashDOT, both Cayuse Pass on State Route 123 and Chinook Pass on State Route 410 through Mount Rainier National Park are closed for the season. This announcement comes after snow fell in the Cascades over the weekend. In fact, WashDOT says Chinook received more than two feet of snow during that time. The passes typically reopen around Memorial Day weekend. The Benton Franklin Health District is reminding everyone of temporary warming centers that are available as the temperature continue to drop. You can call 211 for information about locations that allow someone to come in from the cold and warm up. 211 and 211.org also have in important information about local resources such as utility assistance, food, housing, and other needs. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. We do have some fog off in the distance for the Tri-Cities. Heavier fog, Walla Walla, Hermiston areas. I'll get to that in a bit. We had some shower activity roll through Yakima. That is come to an end. Even some light rain snow mix for the Clee Elm area. Ellsberg kind of out of the range right now, but they saw some shower activity overnight. It is around freezing or just below it or just above it. Let's see, just below it. So be very careful. Keep an eye out for some slick roads out there. Our other areas get ready for slick conditions, but luckily we're a little above the freezing mark or even in the 40s for our area. So warmer this morning. Expect a return to right around freezing temperatures tomorrow. Wind speeds are light. They're going to remain light through Saturday. So that does mean the possibility of fog and bad air quality popping up. We've improved just a little bit, 10% or one mile of visibility for Walla Walla, 50% uh, for Hermiston. So just keep an eye out for patchy fog this morning, tomorrow morning, Friday morning, and possibly even Saturday morning. Our air quality taking a hit. We're in the moderate zone, Tri-Cities, Toppenish, Prosser, with the light winds, we do expect to see air quality taking a hit for the next couple of days until we see winds start to come in as we get to Sunday. All right, let's take a look at those highs today. We're right in those upper 40s for Yakima, Toppenish, Ellensburg, pretty much on par with what we saw yesterday. In the lovely Tri-Cities area, mid to upper 40s for the mid-Columbia, 51, our hot spot is northeastern Oregon. A little warmer as well in Walla Walla, 51, 54 in Pendleton. So keep an eye out and plan ahead for fog for the next few mornings, especially in Walla Walla. Be careful out there. Riley. 
Thanks for waking up with us and watching Good Morning Northwest. GMA is next and your local news is back tonight at 5 o'clock.